Chris, when you're ready. Hello once again. Uh, so it's been a busy last few weeks um, building the locomotive Sterling engine. I uh, made a fair bit of progress. Um, I've been slowed up by a few little things. Um, I've just run out of gas on the welder and also my regulator for the welder is broken. So I'm going to have to get that fixed um, before I can continue. I thought it was a good time to stop uh, at that point and uh, give you guys a bit of an update of what I'm up to. Um, I'll show you some of the video clips of what I've been um, doing over the last few weeks. Uh, and then I shall um, try and show you... Uh, uh, how the engine is progressing and um, and what all the different bits and bobs are. All right. Yes, that's great. <laughs> As you can see it looks like I've um, made a bit of progress um, when you start doing uh, big stuff like uh, putting sheet metal together um, it looks like quite a lot bit more is done uh, this is a lot of this is just tacked together at the moment uh, when I got some more welding gas I can finish welding it uh, welding it up so this is a view from the back of the engine uh, you can see the, the heating tubes or heating and cooling tubes depending what end uh, uh, you're talking about there um the welding went okay i think i'm i'm pretty much leak free um it wasn't a very uh, good welding it's actually tig welded um <clears throat> i've been welding stainless steel um flattened tubes to a steel plate which isn't uh, is not an ideal situation uh also i'm using mixed gas rather than argon which um makes the situation worse as well uh, but hopefully they should be um fairly leak free they don't actually need to be 100 percent leak free um as long as they're mostly leak free um, the engine will have a one-way valve that will let air into the engine uh, and then won't let it escape again, which will make up any um, lost gas.
So in this position here, there's going to be some bearings located that will have a shaft going right through here. Uh, that will be the rocker assembly. Um, where's my piston pump? Right, so the pistons, um, I made these uh, last time. So these will be going in and out here with a diaphragm around the outside. And they will uh, displace air from one side of the engine to the other to create the, uh, uh, the changing pressures within the engine, which uh, drive the engine. So that's all the cold tubes out. I mean, there's quite a lot of surface area there, so I'm hoping um, the performance of this should be much better than uh, any of any engine I've made before for its actual size. Obviously, this is a particularly small engine because um, it's going to be basically a five-inch gauge model locomotive to go around my garden. So that's the view in the firebox. Uh, you can see the fire grate in there, and you can see the vermic light at the back as well. Insulation. Uh, so the installation to the left and right is um, there's actually ceramic wall behind the stainless steel. Uh, stainless steel will, will will last a horrendous amount of time in a fire. So I don't think for the, the limited uses it's going to get, it's going to be any problem at all. So here some bearings will be mounted and a shaft will go straight through. Uh, and that's um, on this side over here. And there'll be a flywheel. At the moment, the engine is is balanced. Um, it's out of balance to one side, but by the time I put the flywheel on it, it will uh, even out the balance of the engine. I think I've showed you the flywheels before. Um, they're these, these things on the floor. They're pretty heavy. I think I'll try and use both of them since I've um, gone to the effort of getting them laser cut out. Here's my chimney. It's on the floor. So I welded that to the um, that plate there. I've got a lid on the top. Uh, Two, there's two reasons for this. It's got a lid. Uh, one is to um, stop the rain going in, and the other, other reason is to slow the fire up because I've got no other way of regulating the fire at the moment. Uh, and that should bolt on. Bolt on that. Like that. So that'll be mid chimney. I've kind of guessed the height. I've gone as uh, high as I dared go. Um, I want to make sure the engine um, it creates enough draft to keep the fire going. I can't remember what I said about this, so that's me. That's to, to connect it to um, the stuff I'm going to pull. Little um, coupling pin, I suppose you call it. So there you go. Once again, so that's all the progress I've made. Um, I've sort of um, slowed up the last few days and haven't made a great deal of progress um, due to one thing or another. But hopefully, in the next few days, I shall really start get going again, and I can really hopefully uh, get, get the rest of this engine together in the next few weeks, uh, which would be a nice thing. Um, it's a nice time of year to be doing this kind of work. Um, it's a bit cold here. Obviously not that cold compared to some places in the world, but it's cold for people that live in the south of England. Um, I've got this chain hoist as well. Um, the engine's getting really, really heavy now, uh, so I need to lift it with that now. So, um, so that makes life a little bit easier. Well, I think that's about it. So I um, uh, hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you next time in hopefully a few weeks' time, and maybe a bit earlier if I manage to really crack on and get this uh, this thing together. Till next time, bye.